Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over our finishing touches. So with that said, let's call this. Alright, so uh, before I get started, uh, I'm gonna do the same setup as I did before, meaning I'm gonna just show you guys the difference between last code and last week's code. Well, I'll sort of say last month's code to this month's code. And it, the game itself is 99% done. The only thing that I'm missing, it is the music. I tried to compose it and that, that was taking me way too long. It's taking me like two weeks plus, I couldn't do anything that I like, so I just sent it to somebody else to do it. And as soon as it's done, I'm just gonna go back over here, finish it off. I won't take long and then I'll send another video. So uh, before we start, uh, let me just show you guys what I've quickly done over here and I'm just gonna show you guys a speed up version of me drawing this background over here I did have a stand over here and I'm gonna show you in the video but uh, I tried multiple ways to drawing it out and, and it didn't like any of them so I just decided as soon as I put this blue thing over it feels like it's a river going to the horizon here's the city in the background so I like it so much I just kept it like this but of course since we're doing this game all together can do whatever if you want to put this stand in I put the, the code still there I just switch the code the background and the foreground to all blue so with that said let me show you guys uh, me just drawing that part out for a game so let me close this and show you guys <laughs> So pretty much like before, I am on the website called beautifully.org, file difference, file dash diff, and I just pasted both part over here, and I have here under show only the difference, as you see over here, so I don't need to go over all the holes again. Now let's go over. So the first thing you notice, uh, I changed the timer, 30 seconds, now that's pretty easy, and I added a bits per second for our sound in our music so for every five frames which six of them can respond for a second then play a sound for music I set for 30 but you know I'm gonna change that later see how it works better and here I added more of these constant colors so here I have my red so this is red for player and then I add the clouds the sky the city so to keep everything I should have done that from the beginning actually, instead of the sand colors and everything. But I put it now and that's all that matters. So here I have more colors if I need it. And here I changed the a little bit of the AI to 30 seconds, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 
So as soon as the ball gets to the player, so the so here 100 seconds, well it's not 100 seconds, 100 frames, it's 20 frames, so it can be a little more fluid. And here we have more sounds. Here I have my sound timer and my music timer. So just to keep track of the bits per second. So it's, so well, let me come on. So I'll just show you the difference when you get to the code over here. So let's come down here. Here I have my my music, and the only thing I actually did is just uh, pretty much like the sound, I just so the the set music index and repeat. That's all I I did. I just didn't add it on the last code, so that's the only thing that happened. I removed this get random it wasn't necessary, and here is I just moved over. And here's our sound timer. So as you see, I incremented every frame. I loaded and compared to the bits per second. So it just reset itself. So this is five, then plays a beat. And the same thing with the music, pretty easy. Uh, here I have my event setups over here. So I have a little bit more over here. So set up new. No set. If you come under here, it resets the ball values, and the new set is just. I believe I have this, but it's just. Well, let me see the difference. Just okay. Let me check this out. AI timer. So apparently, I didn't have it from the last call. So let's just go over it. All right, so here, oh, well, not here. So here, get an event timer, make sure it's one. And if you go to event timer, event timer. Oh, where is the thing over here? Well, let me show the difference only, show me the difference only. Oh boy, how do you get so dumb? Music, okay. So you're gonna load the event timer when it's one. Let's go over here. Let's go to your events. Event game run. We are loading zero. And start is the ball velocity. And here we have the new set. Every time you get a new set, you're gonna clear the collision for the ball. And we're gonna reposition the players. And then we're gonna, so this is pretty much, what I'm doing is setting up, uh, clearing out those bugs that I have. First was the ball was, every time was playing, was going randomly places. So here I'm making sure the ball is not on the screen. And here I'm clearing the collision to make sure there's no, when you start a new set, uh, we don't have like uh, the player has ball and all that stuff. Reposition the player. Here I turn off the the super in every other line, meaning that the, every time the game stop doesn't mean that the the middle. So let me just run the game just to show you guys. So every time. Uh, we run a game, this part is going to show the lines of the game over here. So I did that for that. In here, making sure who starts start with the ball. So here I'm just making sure if the player won, then the other player gets the ball and so forth. So that's pretty easy. And here we're going to reset the timer. So here it just has ball. But here, as you see, fix the bug for jumping. So, so if you jump before the 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 game ends, it doesn't keep going forever. And here, I just added our throw to the ball. So here it has the ball. Fix the bug over here. And 
that's the code they're gonna keep doing all the time just to add the sound for the ball so pretty much I load the player throw uh, so that's gonna give me the index the size now mean times to loop so that's pretty easy you've seen that before this is the super throw so we added that so if I only Let me show you guys. Okay, so here, so here the player has a ball, has a ball. So that's another. So right here we did a big jump. So that was in the beginning before the game event. So here it is already a little bit down. So the player zero has ball. So jumping a little bit. So here you play the code, and down here. So here skip if it has super. Here has the super troll. So we have two sounds, a normal troll and a super troll. So let me go down. So let's go over the other part. And here, if same thing, but this is for player one. And you should have the sounds here, player one and player one so instead of player zero. So the exact same thing. So let's go down to the other part. Uh, here is just moved around. So, oh, let me show you the difference. So, so here I just instead of putting the code over here, I put it down below. So now we have our own. Let's go to bank one. It's our own code over here. This is a VP four, and so forth. Pretty much like before. Display top. Spray the bottom, same thing, so it has its own part of the code. So you're gonna go over there. Here, I added a uh, lost game over here. So I not only added uh, the player winning, so when the player wins, it's pretty much the jumping motion, but in a single place. And when he loses, I have a new, a, a new sprite, as you saw in the, on the video before. And the speed up version so here's part of it so just put that part of the code here and here i added the high bit and the low byte for that code all right so see the difference over here yeah just change the names here is the player loss sprite here is my echo you see how much space i have left here i added the music which i didn't have the music I remove all of this over here and here is display the top background so it's pretty so here I'm just giving a little bit of space here this is the sky color storing that to white and here is the code for the background it's pretty easy just have a counter and you see over here which is X X here I have loading the accumulator with the location of this and we're decrementing every time, so it's in the reverse order and it's torn to the background. So here's the background. And then here comes the city. And here was the top, the stand top side. But as you, I just told before, I just switched to the, the colors to all blue. So you have this ocean view. And here is the same thing reset back. Here's the bottom, the same thing. Just just uh, now it's the it's the bottom part however I have to reset over here everything back to black and clear everything out before you leave out so that's kind of important so here I'm uh, changing uh, but as you see I put too many percentages over here let's go down okay so here is a bug that I had uh, and that was the super. If I was looking over here, I was uh, comparing the. Pretty much all I was doing is checking the condition whether the. Compare the super X location. Is the, uh, let me see. Uh, well, before I was comparing. Uh, the bug was happening because it wasn't working all the time. Whereas the super X uh, location, which is uh, where is the X 
the location of the super. So let me just show you guys with that. Let me drop open the game. I'm going to draw over here. And that's a big bug that I had. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, but it was pretty easy. So before I had, let me imagine the super was over here. So it's over here. And I was checking where the, when the ball was on my side of the field or whether the ball was on the player's side of the field instead of where is the super location. So that was my bug. That's why sometimes I threw the ball and he would just chase it randomly location, even though the ball, I was thinking the ball, as soon as I throw the ball, will be over here. Um, different colors, so the ball will be over here. So he only would chase the super when the ball is on the player's side. So this was having a bug. So, oh, it's over here and still my screen. So let me go over here and then the ball comes over here and changes everything. So the only thing I did it is a, um, a simple mistake and cause so much trouble. But uh, just instead of getting the ball location, I used the super location. And it seems obvious, but I didn't notice that. And it was causing a lot of bugs. So uh, go back. So that's the main thing over here, this AI position. Compare Super X. And then here is just cleaning up most of the AI code. And here I changed a little bit of the set. It's pretty much uh, all the same. I don't even need to make sure if it's run. But it's pretty, didn't even need to change much over here. And here is the sound effects. Make sure while not equal zero, just to skip. Just to make sure the ball uh, hit wall is the primary sound effect. And here the same thing. Here it changes instead of C to B, so a little bit less as a testing it out. Here's the score sound. So let me adding the sounds here instead of 94, 97, a little bit bigger. So see more sounds over here. So it's pretty much all the sounds. Current timer. Here I change the timer. And I here branch equal takes time and I added this. So here's current frame. Just branch out here. So it's still the same, but here I added this load timer and here I'm masking this value. And if it's zero, just go to time over instead of before the game was still running. As soon as the, it was taking a little bit of while to, after all the timer to have depleted to end the game. Here's more sound effect, game over. Let's take the super off the screen. So as soon as I got it, so fix that part how to. Here I have, uh, I changed the, the, the code for where the super is. So now I'm randomizing, getting a 50, 50. So if it's less than 50 or more than 50%, something like that. So it's either zero or one. Every time I do a ran over here. And depending uh, if it's zero or one, so it's on both sides more often. Before I was just betting, keeping on one side more often than the other. So you're doing that, just fix it a little bit. So here, if this, oh, here's the, uh, turn off the super if you got from the previous round. So if you have one sack of the super and this soup that's not going to count anymore. So I decided to do that. Here I have the sound timer. I didn't have the sound timer before. And here I add and see instead of jumping to the exit to the music area. So I added a music area, which I didn't have before. Here I added everything. So all the sounds. Before I only had for one. So here I have all the setup for all the other sounds. And here, as you see, instead of ball and uh, ball hit, only had ball hit and ball caught. So now I added all the code for all the other ones. Sound reset. And here's here the same thing. Instead of music area, is there sound area? I mean, all the way around. Instead of sound, it's in the music area. And it's doing the exact same code. 
and edit everything like before. And here you go into the exit part. And here is the graphics for the clouds, for the city, for the stand, which is now the, the river, which you can change the colors just so you can see it. Here's our data. And here is all the sound, the sound bites, which I am going to change. This is pretty easier, just a few things. And here I have the music, which I have to redo it. And here's the echo, just to see how much space I have left. So that's pretty much the whole game. So let me just run it. Let's show you guys what I have. So as you see, there's I changed the sound. So let me just come over here. And I did have another bug. Uh, good thing I, I opened it over here. Come here in my macro. Uh, other bug that happens, which was... Where's the sound effects? Playing start, no. Sound index, here it is. And which I had low the volume and the audio. I had the bug where I was thinking, so let me just draw over here. So let's say if this is the by code. Actually, let me just bring my, I don't know, is it up? No, it's not. Okay, so let me bring my one, 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 zero. Let's say, for example, this was the the byte I'm loading over here, which is the here I'm loading the control and volume. So control is right over here, so it's just over here, and I was just masking the valley over here, but wasn't, but I needed this valley to shift over here, which it didn't do it. So before I just mask in the value, so it was giving us a random noise, which was not part of the intended code. So I have to went back and fix that. So that's why this sounds a little bit different in actually what's meant to be. So let me just close this out and uh, let me run the game over here one more time. So here's different sound. So here's the. So here's the. Of course, I'm gonna change I don't like some of the sounds. I do like a few more than others. And uh, I still have to do a few ones, like uh, the player jumping. But 99% of the game is already set. And uh, let me see. So, player. So, let me just have player to win. I think I have the. The, the music for uh, game over setup. So let's just check if. Uh, oh, I was trying to get the the super because it does have a different sound when you get the super as well as you've seen in the code before. So uh, player, ah, uh, too, too fast. So that's. That's my, as I say, good thing. As I say, good thing. I set this sound to somebody else to do it. So that was my game over. It was awful. And uh, as you see over here as well, I have my player jumping over here. So he's winning. And here is the player lost gift, which is mad. He's pounding to the ground. So it gives a little bit more emotions to the game. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the game. All I have to do now is set up the sounds. And that's going to be next week or whenever I get the sounds done. And then I'm just going to go over, just draw a quick, uh, it's going to go a quick label for our game cartridge. And I'll pretty much give a story. But on the next video, like I said, I'm just going to do the, the sound, which it won't take long, probably a few seconds and probably do the next video right after it. So it won't probably one right after the other so with that said if guys thanks for watching uh the game is almost done so we're almost there so uh see you guys in the next one bye guys